Mary Ellen Novak, and I'm a member of Gays Against Guns. Thank you, all of you, for being here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. This is truly a terrible and tragic situation, and one that is unfortunately very familiar. We gather today for many reasons, one of which is that it's cathartic, giving us something to do. As Gays Against Guns name implies, we're on a mission to break the gun industry's chain of death. And we accomplish that by strategizing, hitting the streets, and yelling truth to power! So let me tell you something about Gays Against Guns members. One of the things, one of our favorite things to do is to celebrate and release tension. We do that by yelling, fuck yeah! It's cathartic. Except when we're on the radio, then we just say hell yeah. But it's fuck yeah. And I'm imagining that right now we're having a lot of emotions and probably anger and frustration. So let me hear you try it. One, two, three. Fuck yeah! Thank you. <laughs> Gays Against Guns and all other grassroots organizations work to escalate the message of sensible gun reform to end gun terror. We get legislation passed like the red flag bill here in New York. We collaborate. And we fight to dismantle that antiquated barrier, the NRA. Can I get a fuck yeah? Fuck yeah! It's falling apart brick by brick. We're tearing it down. Yeah. But there are victims. Many victims. This is a death epidemic, and we all know why. Guns kill. People kill. People are complacent. And people have succumbed to the dark money. People like Moscow Mitch. People like Leningrad Lindsay, people like Ted Cruz, and so many others who have earned the NRA's A-plus rating. They have clearly traded the country's soul for their self-profit and greed. Now let me tell you something. Before I stepped on here, over here, 8,734 people have died. This year alone, 2019, 8,734 people. That's 40 people a day. You want to know how many people that is? When you go on the subway platform, think about this. During rush hour, imagine 10 full subway cars passing your bike seven times. Imagine, full, packed. That's 8,734 people. I encourage you to step on the subway platform and stand there and let it pass you seven times. Everybody needs to do something. We have what we have to do is right. And even though it's a lot of work, we have to do that and we have to work together. And we can stop, start by uh, stopping the desensitization and the normalization within ourselves and with other people. So how do we do that? We're all here to now, so now, so that's perfect. So next, what I want everybody to do right now is turn to somebody right next to you, stranger preferably. Introduce yourself and say what you're going to do to help end this violence. Right now, everybody, I'm gonna do it. Hi. I'm Mary Ellen Novak, and I promise that after this, I'm going to stand with every single person and talk to them, get their information, and do something about this. So, my name is Jimmy. I am uh, doing political. At the moment, I vow to help a candidate in the presidential election next year. Very yeah, good. Do you have more? Yeah. How about you? All right, thank you, everybody. Well, you both count. I promise to stay here on stage and take every one of your business cards, information, contact information, and follow up with every one of you so that we can come up with a plan. So come up with me, meet me later on, and I promise I'll give you my information as well. Each one of us has an idea to solve this tragedy because each one of us has a unique talent and skill and desire. For gag, for gag, we need teachers. People who are actually in the classrooms, who can actually tell us what their students are saying, who can actually help, help us uh, with solve those problems. We need financial planners, bankers, people who process tax reforms, so that we can hit the politicians and corporations in the wallet and get them to take us seriously because we made it this time. Can I get a fuck yeah? Fuck yeah! We need people who work in communications to help us with the 
messaging and the outreach, and we need event planners to help us plan these types of things. Another fuck yeah, please. All of us together can create strategic plans, goals, objectives, tactics, identify demographics. We can all work together to effect positive change and to build this smart community. Or we can at least wear a pin. Wear a pin during the day. Get a sticker, put it on your laptop or your ass, but do something. <laughs> In addition to amplifying the sensible gun reform message, we also need to celebrate the wins when they happen. And there are many that we should be proud of, and we are proud of. Look at all of us here. We can affect that real positive, sustainable change, like what's happening in New Zealand, Thank you, Jacinda Arden, for shaping the world. What real leadership looks like, we can do the exact same thing. I'm an ordinary person just like you. I work a full-time job. I have family and friends. I work in a neighborhood and collaborate with other people in my community to help change. Why do I do this? Because I don't want gun violence in my job or my work. I want to protect my coworkers. I want to protect my friends and family. I want to protect my neighbors. That's why I do this work. And you can too. One of my favorite quotes is by JFK. One person can make a difference, and every one of us should try. My name is Mary Ellen Novak. I'm going to end gun terror. Will you try? Thank you. Yeah.